Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Virtual Slot Cars, a game about, well, racing slot cars. I personally don't know very much about these. I know there is actually quite a lot more racing with these than you might expect. I have a couple of sets of Scalectrics and play around with them from time to time. That's kind of about as far as my knowledge of these vehicles go. However, when it comes to racing toy cars in games, I'm always going to be very, very much interested in. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and have a look. I've done a little bit of practice just to kind of vaguely-ish get the hang of uh, what's going on. So when you start off, you are given a basic car with a basic motor and, and just, yeah, essentially just enough to get you going and you are given enough track pieces to make up a circuit so the way that you kind of make progress through the game is uh, if we go into track editor so these are the, the bits uh, that I have currently in my inventory if we go into the store you have to actually buy parts to make up a track you get the money from winning and competing in the races you can also use it to buy bits for your vehicle uh, I have absolutely I mean I, I know what these are to do with gearings. I have no idea quite what way I might want to go um, with all of these. I don't know what the difference is between the tyres. They're both rubber. I don't know if you get foam tyres. Do we get foam tyres? Oh, we get silicon tyres. I don't know. When it comes to yeah, slot cars, I don't actually know what sort of... I'm used to dealing with rubber or foam as the option. Or oh, you get sponge tyres. Uh, you need to be much higher. That's going to take a long time to get to that, <laughs> that level. You need to be a higher, higher level to unlock these bits. There's different chassis as well that uh, you can work with. Shall we go and buy? So I think we start off with a 2,000 RPM motor. Let's go for a th let's buy a 3,000 RPM motor. Let's buy that as well. And let's buy a sports car body. Sure. Uh, oh. Okay, I thought it said a minus 16 left. Like, what the hell? <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about that garage. Now we can tinker around with our car. All of your bits have a uh, wear. So you take it to various, you know, you do various races with it. They're going to wear over time. I think you can repair them as well for something. But uh, that's, uh, yeah, something that happens. Can we get rid of that? I don't actually know. Maybe we just go use that. Aha! So that'll go on there. Now, I don't know if that changes the downforce again i don't know how much of a difference uh <laughs> things like that make to a oh there we go that put my speed from 14 kilometers an hour to 21.9 i like it okay that sounds like a good idea yeah i don't actually know how much of a difference i know with road control cars bodies actually make a big difference uh, surprisingly to uh grip and so on but uh there we go. Right, we're going to move on from the basic track. We're going to go to Watkins Glen. I need 160 money to buy all the bits needed to make that circuit, so I will. Then we're going to take on a fictional <laughs> Watkins Glen. Uh, it looks pretty bloody cool. Uh, it looks very, very cool, in fact. I have got myself on the inside for this run. So the way that the race... I have no idea how good my car is going to be, so I'm probably going to fall off the road a lot. Haha! <laughs> I wasn't the first one to go. Um, yeah, so the way that this works, uh, you can set up the amount of time... Oh, bloody hell, this thing is savage compared to the basic one. Uh, <laughs> the way that this works is you set the length of race that you want. So in this case, I have gone for two minutes, just as a kind of... Um, learny, learny experience. God, this is really, really oh, difficult. I'm so used to the other track. Oh, no! No! We've both rolled the slot car. It's very, very much fail race approved here because there is much rolling going on. Uh, God, I'm not very good with slot cars, I'll be honest here. I need to be a lot braver through uh, some of these corners. Uh, God. Now, I'm only having to worry about throttle, of course. Anyone who has played with scale electrics uh, <laughs> only have a throttle to uh, deal with. As far as I'm aware, at the moment at least, there's no like crossover points. I know with the modern scale electrics, you get like digital, you can, like, press a button to change lanes and so on. Uh, I've never, uh, I say no, I've used it once at a, like a uh, model show, but uh, yeah, I don't, ha I don't have fancy set like that one. Um, yeah, there's no, like, crossover points as of yet. But, uh, yeah, the races are, oh, bloody hell, broken down into uh, two-minute segments. Uh, you can be as long as you want. And after that two minutes is up, you will then swap sides. So someone will go to the, uh, the outside lane, and it'll be, like, the combined number of laps that, uh, that you do over both sides. Now, <laughs> the trick with this... The, uh, the trick with this is uh, when you're on the outside of a corner, you can probably be flat out around it. When you're on the inside, you've got to be a lot more careful. Uh, and try because these things are going so quick around such a technical circuit, you've got to really learn the place to learn where you can get away with being flat out. Like, I can be flat out down that back stretch, but I've got to be a lot more careful. Uh, so, yeah, we can be flat out all the way down here, but not there. <laughs> 
Can't be flat out there. I'm going to go a lap down. But uh, yeah, the uh, AI's also got a four off. Thankfully, the AI is having difficulties as well here. Oh, I wasn't flat out down the back stretch again. Oh, and there we go. That was the two minutes up. I'm only a lap down. I'm only a lap down. So I might be able to come back. Maybe. Probably asking a. Uh, bit too much of my <laughs> of my well my my real lack of uh, slot car skills because now i'm going to be able to go quick through other sections but not necessarily the same uh, the same sections oh okay we can't be flat out around turn one while i am on the uh, outside there my car is so quick oh i'm actually up into the uh, lead i don't think i was a full lap down actually when it uh, when it was ended, but either way, regardless, I am leading, I am leading the way with this machine, oh god, it's, it's simple on paper, yeah, you only have to worry about the throttle, but uh, it's not, not necessarily quite so uh, simple in practice, especially this is a lot more of a technical circuit than the original one, uh, I like as well that uh, the games kind of default tracks some of them or let's say some of them uh, quite a fair few are actual genuine circuits now you can go and create a circuit however you want uh, i'm just using the default ones for now but you can go and build whatever circuit you want with the pieces that uh, you have acquired i'm getting into a rhythm now just about but don't say anything because i'll probably bin it uh jensen is not having much fun at all i also like that the ai drivers are mostly named i think perhaps all of them are named after formula one drivers uh, in one form or another which is uh, quite a neat little touch uh, how i don't know how long we've got left uh, oh <laughs> i was having a little look around it's again as strange as it is you are only controlling the throttle that because of the speed to size ratio uh trying to look around the hud at any other information is it just doesn't happen i was trying to have a look at what speed i was doing at the end of the straight but i don't worry so much about where do i actually let off the throttle to get around the corner oh there we go oh <laughs> i think i went underneath the rolling car as you do how very foul race in my first filmed up oh, es escapade we went underneath a tumbling car no jensen come back i want to be five laps ahead of you not not four. Oh, bravery oh thank you that will make life easier for me uh and we're going to be coming to an end very shortly hey victory for me in that one i think the ai do i don't think a random difficulty jensen seemed to make a lot of mistakes jensen made a lot of mistakes and against some of the other ais i've had them only make like one mistake per two minute races so i don't know if it's kind of random uh, random done oh we've unlocked a whole bunch more stuff fantastic uh we already get a huge amount of money from that which is a little bit of a show i don't know if there are better ways to earn money now unfortunately at the moment, I'm not far enough through. I may well come back to this game at a later date. But you can go up to, well, four-lane circuits. And there are options for six and eight-lane. That's a lot, of st <laughs> a lot of slot cars racing at once. Eight lanes. Again, I have played on, I think it was an eight-lane wide track before. Very, very entertaining to, uh, <laughs> to go around there. You go. You've got uh, Anders... Anders Storp, I think that's pronounced correctly. Um, yeah, I don't know how many of these are actual racetracks. Uh, I, I think once I get into these kind of crossover ones, they're all fictional stuff. But yeah, um, shall we go and try? Let's go have a look at... I'm kind of, yeah, let's, let's, I'm kind of curious about like the different bodies. So if we go, we might as well go, let's go and buy the V2 version of the sports car. Let's go grab some other gears we've got 35 and 36 so if we go 42 and 29 i would guess 29 is more acceleration 42 is more top speed might be wrong let's go and find out went back to the garage uh so if we all oh, got a nine tooth so oh, let's have a look okay no i lied um the higher the number the more acceleration we get the lower numbers give us top speed Right, okay, never mind, ignore me, uh, we want, can we go, I don't think you can get different, we might be able to get uh, different brushes uh, for the motors, oh no wait, hold on, ah, right, so one's a pinion gear, one's a, right, okay, so the thing that we're buying, yeah, okay, it's different, don't mind me, uh, <laughs> one's a pinion gear, and I think the other is, right, so one goes on the motor, one goes on the axle, you can change them around to get different gear ratios, it's quite complicated and i don't really know i i know what they do but i don't really know enough about them uh, basically so we can go for really high speed 27 kilometers an hour or we can go for real acceleration 
let's go for real high speed. Let's go for real high speed and uh, single player. Shall we go? We've got enough money. Yeah, let's go here. Uh, is this the South Africa South African Grand Prix? I think it is. I vaguely remember this circuit. Uh, Autumn of Blister, I think, has it. Terrible at it. I seem to remember rolling a car here, but uh, <laughs> no. Again, it's fail race. Of course, I've got. Oh, I forgot to put the. Ah, I forgot to put the other body on. Never mind. Oh, we're against Kimmy. Uh oh, that's not necessarily going to go so well for me. Oh, I don't really know where I'm going around this circuit at all. Oh, that's a tighter hairpin than I was prepared for as well. Quick, get the car back on the track. Uh, wee, I got on the power a little too soon there. Uh, come back, Kimmy. Oh, that's a really nasty stop. <laughs> that is a really nasty stop for a first. Oh, that's a savage corner as well. Okay, I'm, I'm having more issues. So is Kimmy, apparently, having issues around here. I don't know what gearing I would uh, want for this circuit. Um, yeah, as, as far as sort of details go, I'd say pretty, um, uh, pretty good. I don't necessarily know enough about these sort of uh, cars to be able to tell on, on the realism, certainly in terms of the, the driving front. Uh, however, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can fiddle around with your vehicle. Uh, apparently, Kimmy has problems with turn one. I think it is safe to say. Uh, that makes my life much easier. Oh, <laughs> really got to work yet. <laughs> I haven't seen the AI derp out like that before. But uh, there we go. Oh, I was too brave on the throttle. I wonder how fast I'm going down into... Oh, God's sake. Thankfully, Kimmy can't drive either, so we're fine. Uh, right, how fast? Can I have a look at the thing? We're up to almost... Yeah, we're almost at that 30 kilometres an hour. I'm just not brave enough because I know we're going to end up in the... Uh, Oh, God. In the wall. I can be a little later. Oh, you can see the cars twitching around as well through plenty of these corners. I'm, I'm trying to be braver with the uh, back end. It's really... It, oh, God damn it. I'm trying to be braver. That's what we're falling off for. It's really easy to um, go way too slow around here. Almost as easy it is to go way too far. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kimmy is like the seven-year-old kid that's got scale electrics and is trying to go flat out through every corner, uh, thinking it's going to work. I'm just the moron who is now trying to be too brave. <laughs> I'm not making the same mistake, I'm making lots of different ones. Oh, for God's sake. No, Kimmy might actually didn't beat me. Thank God for that. Uh, oh, crap. Now I've got, I think, the tougher part. I'm going to be on the inside more. Uh, the tougher part is actually going to be that now uh, Kimmy is going to be on the outside for turn... Uh, no, sorry, he's going to be on the inside for turn... Uh, I don't even know. I think the AI is still going to fall off a lot on that first corner. I can now be braver. Yeah, I can, uh, I can probably be braver through a lot of the hairpins, actually, because I'm on the preferred line through most of it. Uh, that's quite nice. Not quite that brave, though. I had to give it a try, at least. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. This is now really quick. This car is that no, come back, come back. I can't be beaten. I cannot well, I say I can't be beaten. I probably will be. I can't be beaten by an AI that makes the same mistake every time at turn one. I'm trying too much different stuff with this car. This, I think I would have been better off with the lower gears. Uh, trying to go crazy with my uh, speed here has not paid off. Uh, it's, yeah, it ramped up considerably in terms of difficulty. And, you know, don't forget that I'm only playing around really with the very, very beginning stuff here. It's all through the store, the amount of uh, things that you can uh, get to later on in the game. This is still, I imagine, quite slow for uh, <laughs> for these cars. So difficulty will undoubtedly ramp up. Maybe not in terms of AI driving skill, as uh, Kimmy here is showing. Oh, I'm not being brave. I could definitely be a lot braver through uh, the hairpins later on in the run here. I mean, I was on probably the preferred line, and I wasn't, uh, oh, I, was, I say I wasn't, I was being overtaken, I wasn't going quick enough. Oh, throws <laughs> the car at me. Can we go a few laps, let's just sort of string a few laps together, get some good times. That was very much the rear of my car hanging off the track. There, there was not much left uh, <laughs> in, terms of the, uh, in terms of the grip there. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how the different tyres how much grip the different tyres are going to give you, whether it will work in, in different circumstances and, and so on, whether there's kind of tyre temperature and all of that sort of thing, where over the course of the course of a race. Uh, do not... Uh, of course, we would end a race with Kimmy having fallen off the track. Um, but there, there we go. Uh, we would take a victory, I think, in all of that. 
Uh, hey, we've got a new. We've got access to a new body. We've got various. If we, so we can get some real uh, crazy gearing on the go. Um, how much money have we got? Two hundred and eighty. Yeah, it's. Uh, like leveling up's fairly quick. Uh, getting the currency takes a little bit longer. I'm not sure when I get to 2,000. Um, like I improve. It's currently level beginner. I don't know when I kind of level up from that. If that gives me big injection of monies to go and uh, go and buy stuff, I'll have a, a, a little bit of a look. I, I say I look at the track. I don't know. I haven't actually uh, tried playing around with any of this. I don't actually know what I am uh, doing in terms of building this sort of. Uh, this sort of stuff. So I'm guessing we can kind of just add. Uh, I'm not even sure I'm adding on the right direction here. Uh, so if we then go curve, we can then have. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> you can build your tracks uh, in in ha you know however you want. If if you have you know actual scale electrics track, you can try and replicate it on here. Uh, there's a million different pieces to uh, go and play with. If that is uh, that is your thing, one of the things that would be quite cool to see. Oh, yeah, we can do uphills, we can do downhills, and and so on and, and so forth. If we want to go for a uh, oh, we go we're going downhill. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. Uh, oh no, 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 that was back. Uh, remove. That's what we want to do. Oh, uh, I think there are much cleverer ways of using this. I haven't played around it enough at all with this uh, to know <laughs> when I was uh, probably not a clever idea to do it in the video but uh, yeah really really detailed track editor uh, you can go through just see where I went to curves yeah there's all sorts of different lengths of curves you can you can go to you know you can build it six lanes four lanes etc um, yeah there are plenty of time to be wasted it would be cool um, to see uh, kind of scenery with a lot of these circuits that uh, should we go by this next place as well yeah let's oh let's change the body shell let's go to the garage i want to put the car on this one we'll find out if that does anything uh, <laughs> to the vehicle's handling right let's also go less crazy on the gears what was that 30 35 did i put on it uh yeah i think it was 35 let's go 37 so it, this should be brutally quick accelerating but won't be quite going as fast in a straight line fingers crossed and there we go single player yeah probably a good idea to go for a slightly less crazy thing when we go into a track i don't know that looks quite wibbly wobbly and likely to cause me problems <laughs> basically uh, yeah it would be nice to see a uh like option to add in buildings and add in a little bit more scenery around the circuit itself kind of build it up as a you know, like a big train set almost build you know your, your favorite fictional circuits. i i would spend many many hours i suspect farting around trying to build the perfect little uh, race area but uh, <laughs> there we go as it is yeah there's a lot of detail to uh, mess around with on here oh this is a nasty nasty track i've still got plenty of speed jensen's having issues as well uh <laughs> Hey, I seem to be having issues now. I've got up to faster cars. I don't know if they upgrade their vehicles to uh, match me in terms of uh, performance, but uh, they, ooh, they seem to be having almost as many <laughs> issues as me. Uh, oh God, flicking around from uh, this one. Yeah, Jensen is not having a good, a good day with that uh, sort of prototype car. Uh, either I have got better over the course of this video, which is possible, or. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was actually keeping up with the AI without him falling off the track. Uh, I say that. No, I, I still don't think I've quite got the hang of this. There's a surprising amount of... I say a surprising amount of skill. Kind of doesn't surprise me, actually, uh, when it comes to racing anything. Uh, <laughs> there is a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of skill goes in, and a lot of practice learning the circuits will uh, undoubtedly help. I, I kind of, yeah, think that Jensen has uh, fallen off the track. Where is he going? Turn one? Yeah, turn one, and I think there's one of these hairpins around here. He'll fall off. Probably there. He falls off every lap. Yep. I don't know. I don't, ooh, I don't quite know what's gone into the uh, AI. <laughs> they, 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 they were previous doing quite well. Now I'm falling off in the same corner every time. That's because I'm an idiot, uh, basically. Uh, but there we go. Ah, as far as... It, I'm not sure this body shell is making a huge difference over the Formula One car. It doesn't really feel like it's any different to uh, drive, particularly. I think I've got the gearing better around here. I'm happier with that as a uh, as a gearing. So we are in the lead by a fair margin. It looks like, yeah, this isn't going to be a 
terribly tough. Uh, co unfortunately, unfortunately, I have some quite <laughs> quite good races on uh, with like the, the beginner car at the beginner circuit. You can have some quite good races with the AIs there. Oh, okay, I can't, still can't carry that much speed around that particular corner. Nasty bloody, uh, nasty bloody corners, right? Cowardly, cowardly does it, and then speed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I very much like this uh, like this game. It's you know a slightly different sort of say motorsport of of, of toy car racing in uh, in this case but it is quite relaxing and certainly there's plenty of depth to uh, get into it in terms of uh, you know building your car i don't actually know if you can i don't think you can change the setup on the vehicle i don't actually know if you can change the setup like physically change things like camber and whatnot on slot cars you might be able to on some high-end stuff but i haven't seen an option to uh, change that at the moment however yeah in terms of like yeah, setup with gearing with body shells with tires there looks like there's plenty of options and you know, you can create tracks to your heart's content with all of the uh, various little bits and uh, pieces. I'll definitely have to play through and uh, get to the point where we can do some eight car races and so on. I suspect that would be uh, quite bonkers. Two cars is uh, all well and good, but yeah, when you have eight cars racing around, that seems like uh, plenty of crazy fun. I'm just getting slightly hypnotised now trying to drive this car around the side. <laughs> It's, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe, you, you, maybe you'll be finding the same thing watching this. Well, now it's gone. <laughs> when you just string lap after lap together relatively consistently, it is so mesmerising watching the uh, cars go around here. Uh, oh, careful. Uh, <laughs> something reward, Kind of like, like production line and so on, where you get that um, really satisfying, uh, satisfying sort of automation going on. Uh, with, it's, it's in a different, kind of in a different way, but sort of a, a similar sort of thing. Satisfaction of uh, flowing everything together around here. Yeah, it is really quite good fun. And we're going to take another fairly straightforward victory. Woohoo! Well, that is uh, going to be that. Jensen did not have a good time at all there. <laughs> um, yeah, that is going to be that. Uh, thank you very much for watching, people. If you want to uh, find this game, it's on Steam. I think it's about £11, £12 at the moment. Uh, I think it's still in early access. There is, yeah, quite a lot of fun to be had if you like your uh, toy car racing. There is, yeah, plenty of fun to be had with, uh, with this one. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.